Hello everyone, my name is Joe Varveri and uh, this is a tutorial on Baby What You Want Me To Do by Elvis. So the strings I'm using uh, is the 6th string and the 5th string, the E and the A. And for the A pattern I'm using the 5th string and the 4th string. The main riff, the, the main riff, so it's basically what I'm doing is you can uh, play it the way Elvis did by putting your index finger and your middle finger right here on the second fret and uh, on the fifth string, which is the A string. So it's a slide, it's, it's the second fret to the fourth fret to the fifth fret back to the fourth very briefly and back to the second so it goes then we're changing we're going to the the uh, the A which is second finger on the second fret on the fourth string this time and doing the same pattern Notice that when I slide, I'm not going... That last slide, try and hit it just as you're coming back down. How Elvis plays it. And when he plays it, he uses a lot of down strums like this. As you notice, I'm, pl I'm plucking down. You can play it down up, down up picking, so... So after the main riff, Elvis goes into um, the chords. With the chords, it's almost like a forward back motion. So I'm I'm gonna use the numbers of the strings. Um, so the sixth string is the top string, and then the fifth string, and then the fourth string. Right. So we've got the E and the A and the D. So with the the hand on the E, um, this hand on the E chord. So we've got. I'm also muting. A little bit so there's a bit of muting and off muting going on but uh, it's basically and the way it's getting that sound is because I'm moving from the sixth string to the fifth string the E the A and then landing on the fifth string and the fourth string which is the A and the D so watch my left hand so let's just watch the left hand move on and off yeah, it's sort of back and forth, forward, forward and back. Now let's just focus on the right hand this time. So the right hand is... Do the same thing for the A chord. Um, so we're starting on the 5th and the 4th, which is the A and the D strings, and landing on the 4th and the 3rd, which is the D and the G strings. So it sounds like this. And you'll notice that I'm using the down strumming pattern. If you were to do it down up, which a lot of people find very natural to do, um, it'll sound something like this. The other thing I'd like to talk about is the 12 bar blues itself. Um, I think it's important that we, uh, for those of you that, that, that need this, um, just go through really briefly 
how many um, how many bars there are on each chord to make up the 12 bar blues. So I'm just going to yell out change. Um, basically E to A and we've got the B7 and back to E. So I'll count out the bars. Let's see how we go. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4. 2, 2, 3, 4. 3, 2, 3, 4. 4, 2, 3. Change. 1, 2, 3, 4. 2, 2, 3. Change. 1, 2, 3, 4. 2, 2, 3. Change. 1, 2, 3, 4. Change. 2, 3, 4. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Change. And start again. That little passing B7 at the end, um, it's, it's, it is just that, it's a passing B7. Most 12 bar blues will do this uh, in anticipation of starting again. So it sort of brings it home and then says, all right, we're gonna go again. So There's a little pattern um, played in between the strumming chords. <laughs> simple it sounds complicated but it's really simple it's um, all I'm doing is taking my hand on and off the E chord and with the right hand the strumming hand down up strums Just a slide on the G, F sharp to G. Uh, there are some different patterns that Elvis plays at the end of the song. The pattern I'm referring to is this one. He does that. I think it was totally feel even for him and uh, I'm so happy he did it but it, it, uh, it sounds great and this is all leading to that B7 um, the outro B7 which anticipates the, the, the 12 bar blues starting again so I'll just play uh, the two different outro patterns here for you That's fine for the non-singing part, but when Elvis sings it, you got me do what you want me. There's a pause there, right? A lot of people seem to lose the timing in this section. Um, so just just when you play it, if you're going to put the pause. Try and keep that rhythm going. You got me doing what you want me, oh, baby. What do you want me to do? And that riff can be a little tricky when it comes in. So let, let's see if we can count it out a little bit. Two, three, four, one. Let's, let's try that one more time. You got me doing what you want me, oh, baby. Two, three. Four and one. The other thing I'm doing uh, also is I'm using my palm to, I find it a very natural uh, thing to rest it on the bridge of the guitar.
and get that muted sound. I, it, it does take a little bit of practice to um, fine finesse, if you will. Like when you when you play, uh, you sometimes you want to mute, and then other times you don't want to mute. So. Elvis in all his magnificent, unique glory, um, you can see that when he does play this, he has a lot of adrenaline, and I find it amazing how he strums the whole song down, with down plucking. He was, he was having fun when he was playing this song. Um, he was really loose, and uh, I really do believe that you have to be loose, and you have to just relax and feel and let the adrenaline and the, the emotion of the song just take you. Thanks very much for, uh, for watching and I hope this has helped a lot and enjoy playing and keep on rocking. See you later.